Welcome back guys, I am here with you to solve this problem number 21 of CSR net December 2017. So let us read it. Let Z denote the set of integers and Z greater than or equal to 0. This symbol actually denotes the set of positive integers including 0. Now it says consider the map. So this is your map given by fmn is equal to this formula. Then the map f is so in your options what do you have to do you have to check whether your map is injective or surjective or both okay so these are your options so without going into the options i will firstly write the map so this is your map right now see fmn is given by 2 to the power m 2n plus 1 right now see this number can this number be zero does there exist m or n such that this number is zero suppose this number is zero okay we need to find m and n such that this number is zero now since this is never zero for any value of m okay m, e, m you are taking from z greater than or equal to zero that means set of positive integers right so this number can never be zero that means 2n plus 1 is 0 that means n is equal to minus 1 over 2 so does this n belongs to z no this this n does not belongs to z that means no, uh, for any m or n this number is never 0 okay for no m or i will say for no m comma n this number is never going to be 0 you are getting my point or not so this means there does not exist m comma n such that f m n is equal to 0 where m comma n belongs to z greater than 0 cross it this is what is given to you okay so from here what you can conclude that 0 will never come in the image of this f that means 0 does not have pre-image this is what we can conclude so since 0 has no pre-image so from here what you can conclude you can conclude that this map is actually not surjective okay now let us check injectivity of this map right so I will erase this thing so not on to so your first option says it is on to therefore it is wrong okay now your third option also says that both 1 1 and 2 so this is also wrong now you have to mark one of one between them second and fourth so for that matter you need to check whether it is 1 1 or on 2 right so uh, checking injectivity right this is what i am checking right now now suppose that there exist okay so m1 comma n1 is equal to m2 comma n2 where m1 okay where m1 comma n1 is not equal to m2 comma n2 okay so if you are writing this thing what can be concluded from here there there are three cases you can conclude from here the first one that m1 is equal to m2 but n1 is not equal to n2 you are getting my point still this will this inequality will hold now second case you can conclude that m1 is not equal to m2 but n1 is equal to n2 this is what you can conclude right now come to the third one third one you can conclude that both are inequal not but i will use and here you are getting my point or not this couple okay this coordinate is not equal to this coordinate that means either this is not equal to this or this is not equal to this or both are equal these are the three cases that you can generate from here okay now let us take your case number one suppose m1 is equal to m2 and and one is not equal to n2 so now by using this thing this one what you can write you can write 2 to the power m i will write m here okay instead of m1 because they are both are equal i can do that you are getting my point or not 
I am not writing m1 m2 here because I am taking the case where both are equal therefore I am writing just m so this will be cancelled by this thing so from here what you will get n1 is equal to n2 so we are done you are getting my point we are done in this case so 1 1 in this case now case number 2 suppose m1 is not equal to m2 and n1 is equal to n2 okay then what will happen okay see I will write n here instead of n1 okay because they are equal now this number is non-zero so they, they are equal so you can cancel okay you can only cancel because they are non-zero now 2 to the power m1 is equal to 2 to the power m2 so just apply log both side you will get what you will get m1 is equal to m2 are you getting my point so these are the two easy cases okay so in this case one one again now we are left with the third case the third one is little bit tricky so i will write that thing now so firstly i will erase okay now i will write down the third case here suppose m1 is not equal to m2 and n1 is not equal to n2 both are happening at the same time now since they are unequal so without loss of general generality what i can say i can say let us suppose m1 is less than equal to m2 okay they cannot be equal therefore i have to remove this one since they are unequal so at least one of them has to be less than the other one you are getting my point so without loss of generality i am taking that m1 is less than m2 now now write the condition this one is the condition okay so what you will get 2 to the power m1 2n1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power m2 2n2 plus 1 okay so since m1 is less than m2 you can do 2n1 plus 1 is equal to 2 m2 minus m1 and 2n2 plus 1 is still there right you are getting my point or not okay now see for any n you choose not any n for any n1 you choose this number is always a odd number okay this number is always a odd number now since m2 is not equal to m1 therefore this is a multiple of 2 so this number is a even number you're getting my point or not so from here what you can conclude you can conclude that this is a contradiction because you are getting this odd number to be equal to this even number you're getting my point or not okay so i will repeat it again what i have done i have taken because they are unequal so i have taken without loss of generality that m1 is less than m2 now use the condition for injectivity so i have written down the conject uh, condition now using this i am getting this thing now since m2 is bigger so i can divide it with 2 to the power m1 so i have done that now see since m2 is not equal to m1 therefore this number is a multiple of 2 this number being multiple of 2 is even but for any n1 this number is odd so you are getting a contradiction there are you getting or not so this is a trick here to check whether so that means from here what you are getting that means you you cannot take both m1 m2 no unequal and n1 and 2 unequal such that they are equal you are getting my point therefore by contradiction this is 1 1 so hence we proved that this given function is always 1 1 okay so the fourth one is incorrect therefore third one has uh, sorry second one has to be correct that it is 1 1 but not on 2 right so thank you guys